Welcome and you're watching Rocky Mountain Moto Adventures. Welcome guys. Today I wanted to give you something a little bit that I've been wanting to do for some time now is a review on this Alpine Stars Toucan boot. Now this is a all four season adventure boots for the big bikes and for the hard enduro riders out there. Obviously uh, this is one of my toys here that I get to the joy of riding every day and uh, what better way to test out these new boots than with the 1200 GS. I bought these boots about three months ago and I've currently put on about 2,500 miles on these boots. Uh, I took a chance, normally for all you guys out there that know me, I've been riding Tech 10s, the hard motocross boots. Just again, for the safety and the um, durability around the ankle support that I need. Now obviously everybody's different, but ankle support is something I have to look for in a boot. So I picked up a pair of these Alpine Stars. Uh, I'm a size nine, and on the Tech 10s, I'm a size 10, because you got the inner line booty. Uh, with these, they're a true fit. These are a size nine US as well, and they fit phenomenal. Uh, again, some of the features that I looked for is the ankle support that I have in the boot here, okay? Um, you have hard TPU coatings on the sides there. After 2,500 miles uh, riding every day to work, weekend off roads, sometimes over like Memorial Day weekend, did a four day trip out in the Colorado Rockies. Just loved it. Um, walking around town, going in to get, you know, uh, stopping over for lunch. You know, you don't have to worry about walking in the clunky Tech 10 style type boots. These are very flexible. Uh, one of the flexible parts about it is on the back side here, you do, you do see the ribbed points here. It does allow for some flexibility. Also on the front, um, it gives a lot here in the front. So again, walking around town, you know, obviously sometimes I drop the bike, I gotta get up, I gotta, you know, obviously walk around and maneuver the bike with these boots and it's a lot easier than the Tech 10s for sure. Uh, one of the things I always liked about the uh, Alpine Stars is the hard coating on top for the shin protector. Just loved them. Um, this is, a, like I said, an all four season. Something that also caught my eye about these boots is the fact that this is a Gore-Tex boot. With that said, it's waterproof, it's breathable, and obviously it's uh, life guaranteed. You know, there's times that I've been riding in the rain, which I do all the time, uh, and there's nothing worse than having to pull over, put a plastic bag over your foot, stick it back in there, and yeah, it's just, it's not a win-win for me. So I thought I'd give these a try. The other thing is the, the new buckles. Now this is something that they brought out, I believe for the 2014, 2015 models. This is a 2017. Nothing's changed. It's still the same. Uh, but what they did for 2014, we'll just say that, is they added these new buckles here. These are a self-aligning, self-cleaning, uh, self-adjusting buckle. And the only time we saw these is when uh, Alpine Stars released them on their Tech 10 boots. And I think another Tech 7 model as well. Uh, but again, it was a very, very big plus for me to see these on this boot. Again, everything is, if for some reason, if you snap off a buckle, they are replaceable. So are the, uh, the hooks here. Again, it's just an arrow point hook. You just slide it in there and lock that puppy in. Probably the best thing I've ever seen Alpine Stars do on a boot. Uh, also, if you have thick calves, I did like this a lot. You can adjust the top here and adjust it accordingly to the big calf riders, you know, out there. So this boot will fit a large array of individual riders out there. The other thing is the sole of the boot. It is absolutely fantastic. It's got enough grip on there for any condition that you're out on, whether you're on the trails or the street, it's just, it, it works phenomenally. So again, um, would I recommend this? Absolutely. Are they pricey? Yes. This this brought me at $499. Uh, again, I would recommend these boots to anybody who's looking to have a nice touring boot or like me, someone who's commuting back and forth to work every day on the bikes or, or someone that's looking for a little bit more versatility and safety in a riding boot. 
for those enduro riders out there. So again, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for joining Rocky Mountain Moto Adventures. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will answer them as quickly as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook. Also, if anybody out there is interested, we are hitting up the Colorado BDR this August. So again, it's gonna be something fun. If anybody's looking to join and, and be a part of the group here, it's just gonna be me and another person. And we're gonna spend the five days going from Steamboat all the way down to Telluride. So it's gonna be great. We're doing full camping and everything like that. So if you are interested, again, give us a shout. Let us know. Love to have you aboard. And thanks for watching.